like and dislike about organized crime movies? I like the I like the criming aspect of it quite a lot. in college. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Our first guest this week is Patrick Fabian. Over the past 25 years, Patrick's acted with everyone from Xena, his favorite, to Angela Lansbury, his parents' favorite, and along the way he cheated, lied, got shot, kissed the girl, chased the devil. He is currently practicing law in Albuquerque on Better Call Saul, for which he and his colleagues recently earned a Screen Actors Guild nomination for Outstanding Ensemble. We are also joined by Ariel Levine, who is a two-time Emmy-winning writer-producer and current staff writer for the sixth season of Better Call Saul. Congratulations to both of you for being part of such an incredible show. And Ariel, congratulations on all of your recent nominations. We see you're up for three Writers Guild Awards, including Drama Series, Season 5's incredible finale, and for Kim Wexler's ethics training videos. We've got heavy hitters today, Gabby. Yay! So, what do we what do we like and dislike about organized crime movies? I like the I like the criming aspect of it quite a lot. <laughs> I love the idea of being able to live a larcenous life. And a crime, you know, crime movies let me do that. And what what are things that we're sick of seeing in organized crime? You know, the, the I don't care about anything attitude. Right. I feel like I, I need a protagonist that cares about something, that wants something, you know, isn't just like, just doing it because of just greed. And also fragile, fragile egos. Okay, first of all, that's, I made my career off of fragile egos, so let's be careful about that. <laughs> and second of all, let's not undersell or discount greed because greed is a big driving motivator. Okay, so as much as we have a ton of freedom with our movie, there are a couple of parameters. This movie is gonna be set in the future, um, but we're not doing like fantastical sci-fi. It's much more like grounded, practical, futuristic realism, like Children of Men. I love uh, that movie. It's so yeah. good. So <laughs> that movie. good. That's one of my favorite yeah. movies of all time. The illegal element being trafficked is not something typical. So it can't be like drugs or guns. It's gotta be something else. And finally, one of the main characters of the criminal ring is a former well-renowned lawyer. Okay, so I think we should start with like, who are our criminals? Like where do they preside in the world? And then what are they trafficking? Do we want them to be American? We don't need them to be. Well, they can be Americans living somewhere. Like Canada. <laughs> Not that interesting. Although, what if they're trafficking maple syrup? A hot commodity in the future? Well, it, it, like, like champagne, like champagne only comes from the champagne area of France. Maple syrup in Canada is like gold. As a matter of fact, people steal it from those trees all the time and people get killed for it. Maybe with climate change, there's been like, uh, the maple trees are dying out. And so there's like only a limited supply left. Maybe they could live on Victoria Island, which is right off of Vancouver, thereby giving them sort of a, a moat, a natural moat and a fortress from which to defend their kingdom. Who do we want to see running a, a evil maple syrup corporation? I, I think it could be fun if we have a matriarchy for our organized crime. Who's the matriarch? Who's a famous Canadian actress? The internet just told me that Catherine O'Hara is Canadian. Okay, so Catherine O'Hara is the big boss. And maybe her daughter is Rachel McAdams, and they have been having a lot of conflict about how to run the company. Absolutely. Catherine O'Hara is like, is like Edith? Like something that's like older? Henrietta? Henrietta, and then, and then Rachel McAdams is Edith. And maybe her name is Edith, but she goes by like Edie. Edie's cute. The, the issue is that Henrietta is running it like a mob business with a lot of threats and 
overpricing and violence, and then Edie wants to just run it like a above board corporation. Yes. Is this an all female film? Because that's cool too. I can just be the, the, the monkey grinder at the end with the credits rolling the, the you know. The oh, music. you're writing yourself a role, is what's happening? I'm sorry, is that not why I'm here? What, what's going on? <laughs> I thought, right? I actually, I kind of like, just to throw it out there, I like the idea that it's, you know, Rachel McAdams and like Catherine Hare, like at the top, but there can be men involved, right? Like it's, you know, it's not all women, no men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe we're not taking enough advantage of the fact that this is the future. So maybe what's happened because of climate change and because of destabilization is there are no longer federal governments. One corporation owns this island and they've decided they wanna, they wanna monopolize the maple syrup trade and you know, maybe they're doing some legal shit, you know, by like, oh, we're our own island and you know, uh, we don't, your laws don't apply to us. So then what, what is our conflict if they've already gotten all the trees on their island? One sapling got loose, one sapling. One person turned traitor and there's, there's rumors of a sapling somewhere else. So they've noticed that some of their saplings are missing and they decide that they can't trust anyone, including mother or daughter, can't trust each other. So they bring in someone, like they come in and they take on a fake identity in order to like get to know everyone on the island. But, they ha but it has to be a lawyer, because it has to be someone who, who, can, who has to adhere to a code. I'm thinking somebody like Don Johnson. Oh, he has to have a name that's like, that's like cool. Schwaggy McFaskell or, 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 or Hammer Thornbach. What if his name is just like Fast Hammer? And the lawyer finds out that the the rat is actually the head of the um, maple syrup crime syndicate. I just got lost, just for the record. Uh, <laughs> it's like, because I want there to be like a twist. The family, it's Catherine O'Hara and Rich McAdams, and then there's a like younger son or daughter who is like passed over all the time. At first, the misdirect is that Don Johnson thinks like, well, obviously it's the younger sibling. Played by Haley Steinfeld. Love it. What's her name? Chrysanthemum. And so why, what leads him to think that it's um, Chrysanthemum? She's doing something secretive. Like it's the old thing of like, he's going to the restroom and he sees her all of a sudden having a, 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 a conversation down the hall and then a, a furtive look and then a, oh, hi, how are you sort of thing. Or she's got a bag. She has something that conceivably could have a sapling in it that she carries all the time that we find out is a different reveal instead. Or she's maybe she's an artist, right? So maybe she's been like sketch, she has a sketchbook and she's sketching and they, they hate that. How does he uh, uncover that it really is uh, Henrietta? I have a pitch. Of course. It has something to do with something that Chrysanthemum drew and he sees it in her notebook and realizes that it's evidence against Henrietta. Does this mean that the Chris, uh, the, the Chrysanthemum is is mute? And can only <laughs> communicate through painting? Uh, um, what are you thinking, Ariel? <laughs> there are a lot of moving pieces here. Okay, I don't think she's mute. I don't think she's mute. But, but I, I do think, think she, she could. Maybe she doesn't know what she saw, right? Yeah, so she maybe, doesn't know. Maybe it's even just that like, that Henrietta had a sapling in her office uh, because she was gonna then move that sapling off the island. Chrysanthemum happened to sketch that sapling and then Don Johnson is like, oh, this is beautiful. Is this from the Outside, woods where yeah. we grow the saplings? And she's like, no, actually my mom had it in her office. Dun, and then dun, it's like, dun. bum, bum, bum. Why would she have a sapling in her office? So now how do we expose Henrietta? Oh, I'm getting a call from the studio. Okay, so um, actually this, uh, they're telling us that we need to include a cameo from a Breaking Bad or a Better Call Saul actor. Um, I, I vote for somebody like Huel. I gotta do it, man. That's played by Lavelle Crawford, love that. Um, okay, so here's my pitch. Chris says to Henrietta, like, please mom, will you just come, will you just come and look at RISD with me? And she's like, fine. So they get off the island and, and Chrysanthemum and Edie and Henrietta go to RISD, where Don Johnson has set up this, this fake garden of saplings. Lavelle Crawford plays like the gardener at RISD and, and it's fake. Like they're walking around, she's like, oh my God, what is this? And, and he's like, Lavelle's like, yeah, that's like our, that's our maple syrup garden. Like every, everyone in America is like having one. And Henrietta's like, but I didn't give you. And they're like, you didn't what? Cotter. 
Oh, I know. I was gonna say Chris needs to come out on top. I feel like she's the one who like, she just wanted to go to college. She just wanted a liberal arts degree. What is the name of this movie? Sticky Situation. <laughs> wow. Starring Don Johnson as Fast Hammer. Yeah, that's a, I can sell this already. In the year 2030, climate change has caused federal governments to collapse and natural resources to go near extinct. All of the maple trees in the world have disappeared except for on Victoria Island. One family matriarchy has claimed an illegal stronghold over the island, running a maple tree monopoly as the lone syrup producer in the world. Through threats, violence, and intimidation, they're able to maintain this status. But the family business becomes threatened when an unknown party begins trafficking tree saplings off the island. Catherine O'Hara, Rachel McAdams, and Haley Steinfeld are crime family forces to be reckoned with in Sticky Situations. A riveting tale of power and passion, deep divides and betrayal. That's a movie. <laughs> That's it's a movie. movie. Wow. <laughs> Not necessarily so. a good one, but it is a movie. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you at home for joining us on this episode of Make This Movie. I'm Gabby Dunn. I'm Allison Raskin. And this is where you can find and follow our guests. Be sure to subscribe to the Sundance TV YouTube channel and hit the bell so you know next time we post an episode of Make This Movie. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>